This Etsy store is making over $200,000 a year selling printable art. Some of their digital downloads are making over $1,000 a month. The listing from this store is only four months old and is already selling 25 downloads per month for a revenue of $776. This is proof that there is money to be made in this space for anyone who wants to get started now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a $10,000 a month business starting from defining your niche, creating high quality illustrations, and selling your art on Etsy using the power of AI tools. And I'll show you how to avoid the most common mistake people make when when they create these listings. This may be the video that you needed to finally break free from your full-time job, so make sure you watch the entire video so you can launch your business today. 32 million people use the Etsy app every month, so there's plenty of opportunity to step into this space and make money. We'll start off using the Chrome extension Everbee to get an idea of how much these stores are actually making and so we can get an accurate picture of what items are selling the most. There's a link to Everbee in the description below. Whenever you use Everbee, the monthly revenue is based on the full price of the item. So if the store is running a discount, Everbee will not be able to take that into consideration. So this store here just launched this product four months ago. 25 sales a month at $15 is a profit of almost $400 a month on one listing. If you had 10 listings performing like this in under 12 months, you could be making $4,000 per month. And if you're finding any of this information valuable so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I know that you're benefiting from this free content. You can use Everbee to explore keywords that have a good monthly search volume with relatively low competition. You're gonna wanna spend some time reading reviews on specific products to get an idea of what customers like and what they don't like so you can identify gaps in the market. For the example in this video, I am going to be using the baby nursery niche. The images that you see here were all created using the AI tool Midjourney. There is a free version of Midjourney, but you will need to use the paid version, which gives you access to the commercial license for every image that you create, which allows you to sell them. We'll start with forward slash imagine. This is where we will give the AI a description of the photos that we want to create. We will use this prompt to give us the images that I just highlighted for you. The AI will produce four images. Underneath the images, you will have two rows of buttons to choose from. The U stands for upscale, which will make the photo larger, and the V stands for variation, which means that you can select that photo and then the AI will give you four more variations of that particular image. Once you upscale a photo, then you can go ahead and save it to your computer and repeat this process for every image. Once we have a collection of images, we need to create different sizes for your photos so that your customers have a choice on how big they want their prints to be. Earlier in the video, I told you that I would show you how to avoid one of the most common mistakes people make. This portion of the video is critical to pay attention to. If you do this incorrectly, your photos will look blurry and distorted when they are printed at a larger scale. These are the most popular sizes for printable wall arts on Etsy. You need to make sure that you offer all five aspect ratios to give your customers as many options as possible. These are the pixel dimensions for each ratio. It is very important that you have the correct number of pixels for each ratio. I'm going to show you how to do this properly step by step. So let's go ahead and just start with the bunny. We're gonna use GIMP, which is basically a free version of Photoshop. It doesn't have as many features, but it's all we need. Hit file, new, and input the image size. We're gonna start out with the two to three aspect ratio. So we need to put the width as 7,201 by 10,800 for the height. After that, go back to file, create template, and we will name this two to three. Now we can use this template for every digital print that we ever create do this for all five sizes. It's gonna make your life a lot easier when you go to create more of these in the future. Adjust it to the size that you want and then copy the layer. Now I want you to create another project with the four to five ratio. Paste the layer here. Make sure you click this green button at the bottom and add it as a new layer. Adjust the size if necessary and repeat this step for every aspect ratio. So now we have five images of the bunny and they are all set to every aspect ratio, giving our customer plenty of options to choose from when they go to print these out. After your images are done, you need to export them as JPEG files. The next step is to create mockups for your printable designs. These are going to give your customer a good visual of what this could look like in their home. So we're gonna use the website Placeit to take care of this step. So you wanna to go to mockups, print on demand, and then wall art. I chose this mockup because people like to put these photos above cribs. So I figured this would give them a good idea of what that could look like. So we'll upload every image. And then once you're finished, 
you can purchase that mock-up for $7.95 or you can get a subscription for unlimited downloads. You will want to create at least three to four mock-ups for your listing. Next, it's time to get your listing posted on Etsy. So create a seller account if you don't already have one. Here you can upload your photos, create a title, create a description, add tags. I won't go through the entire listing process here, but once you complete this step, you have officially launched your Etsy business. Instead of trying to focus on making thousands of dollars per month on one product, you really want to spread things out and try to focus on hitting one, two, three hundred dollars a month on each product. And if you offer enough products in your store, then you can see yourself making thousands of dollars per month in no time. Everything that you need to get started is linked below. If you found any of this information helpful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this on how to make money online. And make sure you check out this video on how to make seven hundred dollars a day selling coloring books on Amazon using AI tools. And I'll see you over there.